Hello guys, in this video I'm going to answer the big one. What is photography? Hello, I'm Mark Newton from the School of Photography and you can find us at theschoolofphotography.com where we teach you the best in photography education. So in this tutorial, I'm gonna try and answer the big question, what is photography? This is a very open-ended question and it's one I ask a lot in my classes. For every 100 people I ask, I get 100 different answers, but the common ones I get are it's an art form, it captures memories, it records history, it's a way of capturing a scene and so on. Of course it's all of these things, but essentially photography is to capture light. Photography is a science, it was invented by scientists not artists, and you need to learn the science or the craft of photography, then you can get creative with that knowledge. I can tell you now that you might get that lucky shot but you won't be able to be consistently good or consistently creative without that full control over the science of photography. The craft of photography has been the same since its invention in the 1830s and it will continue to be the same forever. This is because it's a science, it's the laws of physics at work. It's essentially about capturing light beams. Here is a camera obscura, and this is how it works. Light travels through the lens there, and it hits an image plane, in this case, a piece of tracing paper. You zoom in and out with the two boxes, and that focuses in the image. And that essentially is photography. So let's look at some really old photographs and explain how photography has pretty much stayed the same for many, many years. Here's the first one here. This was taken in 1908, and this one shows a really shallow depth of field, which means it's been taken with a large aperture. And then if we look at this one here, this one was taken in 1906, after the earthquake in San Francisco. Now this one shows everything sharp from the foreground to the background. And that means that it's been taken with a smaller aperture, giving us a longer depth of field. And then we have this one here, and this one was taken in 1912. Now this also shows a shallow depth of field, but the boy on the left is blurred. This is because he's moving during the exposure and the girl isn't. All of these photographs show that photography hasn't changed because depth of field is controlled by aperture, um, movement is controlled by your shutter speed, and those things have always been the same. Since the beginning of photography, the principle has been the same. Light travels through a lens and is captured on an image plane, and that is it. When photography was first invented, light was captured onto metal and paper, then it was glass, then came plastic film, and now it's a digital chip. But the process of light beams traveling through a lens and being captured has been the same and will continue to be the same. And it's because of those reasons that we only use the manual settings in my courses. This is so we learn to control the aperture the shutter speed, the ISO, and so on. All of these modern settings on cameras are just gimmicks. They are selling points for the manufacturer. They actually make things more confusing, I think. So we use just the manual settings. Not only does this allow us to take control, but it also allows us to understand what mistakes have been made. So there you go. That's my answer to the big question of what photography is. Now I'm sure that many of you have different views on that and if you have, put them in the comments below and discuss it with fellow learning photographers. There's actually no wrong or right answer to that question. That's why I find it a great one to discuss in my lessons. If you want to learn more about photography, we have a range of online courses over at theschoolofphotography.com, so check those out. 
Also, please support this channel by liking this video, sharing it with your friends, and subscribing to it. It really helps us out, and it enables us to bring you more videos. Also, follow us on social media where we have photography assignments, free tutorials, and a great learning community of people just like you. Thanks for watching, and remember, learn more at the School of Photography.